Hi, I'm going to go over what the dynamic cell SDK is and how we can use this library with ROS1. Dynamic cell is powered via U2D2 power hub board with 12 volts SMPS. Dynamic cell starter set will help you to create these connections easily. Connect all the cables and power, then we're ready to use dynamic cell. However, dynamic cell is a smart actuator that uses a digital packet with an ID and a specific baud rate. You might need to configure dynamic cell if you are not using a default factory setting or connecting more than one dynamic cell. Dynamic cell SDK supports three major operating systems for developing dynamic cell with various languages and tools such as C++, Python, MATLAB, and Java. Dynamicell SDK ROS package is updated as a meta package that contains the ROS library and its example. Our effort begins with releasing SDK meta package for ROS1 and a simple example to understand how to create a simple node that writes and reads from the Dynamicell. You can either install the package with apt install command or download from the robotics GitHub repository. Once you have downloaded the package, Let's build a source code with catkin make command. If the package is successfully built without any error, we are almost ready to run the example. Create the master node. Then open another terminal window and run the example. This example uses TTY USB 0 port as a default. And if your PC is using some other port than this, the port definition has to be modified in the source code and built again using the catkin make command. After running the example node successfully, you can see the set position topic is correctly created along with a couple of basic ROS topics. Open the third terminal and enter the command to publish the topic to the example node. We can publish the goal position using a topic since DynamiCell uses a digital packet, it is very important to insert correct ID to the published topic. Receive the present position as a response using a service. Received messages are printed on the second terminal where the example node is running. The example works with very simple configuration. The example creates a node on the PC and DynamiCell is connected to the PC via U2D2, which is USB to serial converter for dynamic cell. You can run the node after creating the ROS core first. Then you can enter the command that creates a node that subscribes the message to update the goal position of dynamic cell, which will eventually update the goal position memory address in the dynamic cell and rotate the output horn. The service server is also created to read from the present position memory address of Dynamic Cell. These configuration can be easily done with Dynamic Cell Wizard 2.0. Let's briefly take a look at the source code. In the beginning of the code, there is a description of how to execute the example and how to publish the topic as well as how to request the service. Control table may differ by Dynamic Cell model and firmware. So refer to the product e-manual and modify these addresses if, if necessary. All X-series use protocol 2.0 as a default. Most dynamic cells by default have ID of 1 and baud rate of 57,600 BPS. Get present position is the service server that receives a request from other nodes and returns the present position of specified dynamic cell ID using a response. Since present position is a 4-byte data and we need to get the response from the dynamic cell, read 4-byte TXRX method in the dynamic cell SDK is used to read from the memory address in dynamic cell. Likewise, the set position callback is called whenever the set position topic is received. The received 4 byte goal position value is written to the designated dynamic cell ID using write 4 byte TXRX method. 
In the main function, port handler and packet handler are initialized with given port name and protocol version. Once the port handler succeeds to open the port with a specific port rate, Dynamics is now ready to communicate. The subscriber is created here to set the goal position with the queue size of 10, and in the next line, service server is created to collect the present value from Dynamics L. When everything is ready to roll, turn on the torque of dynamic cell by writing 1 to the torque enable address of each dynamic cell. Sending 0 to this address will turn off the torque. Please feel free to ask any questions you might have. Thank you.